trials to date have, you know, quite frankly, been disappointing. Vaccine approaches have not shown to, to have an impact in the illness, although one can definitely show an immune um, response. You can, you can measure immune response, but a therapeutic effect has not been seen. And in the area of checkpoint inhibitors, there's a lot of interest. There are several um, uh, drugs uh, that have been reported either in the peer-reviewed literature or mostly still in abstract form have shown um, that uh, there's a response. Uh, there are actually some short-term responses, but the percentage of patients that exhibit, um, you know, true uh, uh, objective responses, a major shrinkage of tumor or, or disappearance of tumor uh, on the basis of imaging, uh, the percentage is, uh, is low, uh, somewhere uh, between 10 and 15 and, you know, maximum of 20 percent, which um, is the same story that we see with multiple cytotoxics that have been examined over the last uh, two to three decades. So uh, where we go from here is um, uh, uncertain. <laughs> Obviously there's interest in a variety of approaches. One of course is uh, combination therapies. But in, in my mind uh, the, the, the uh, giant in the room, I'll use that term because it's so critical, is coming up with uh, uh, validated, uh, clinically reasonable, actionable uh, biomarkers. Um, clearly uh, there's a signal here and you know again uh, each of these studies have shown patients who um, have had major responses. Now, when I say major responses, I'm talking about not just shrinkage of tumors, but no evidence of the progression of the disease for a year, 18 months, even two years. So how do we find out who those patients are? Is it uh, the presence of particular new antigens? Is it, you know, there's a lot of interest in uh, a tumor burden, molecular, uh, the, the uh, mutation tumor burden. Um, and perhaps that will be um, what we look for to find the, uh, the patients whose cancers may respond, but today we simply don't know. So a lot of more research is, uh, is indicated. Uh, clearly this is an area that needs more research. Very excited about it, but um, we are just at a uh, port of, you know, watch and wait stage in the management of ovarian cancer as it relates to um, immune targeting.